Mr. Speaker, a year ago, the Minister of Finance said there would be deflation in Canada. She promised prices would go down for Canadian families. Instead, we've seen groceries go up 15 to 20 percent. We've seen gas go up 40 percent, Mr. Speaker. We've seen housing, rent, mortgages go up 20 to 30 percent. She misled Canadians with the deflation promise. And today, in the mandate letter for the Minister of Finance, no mention of the inflation crisis. Why? Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the person who is misleading Canadians when it comes to the economy is the leader of the opposition. Here are the facts. Our GDP grew by 5.4% in the third quarter. We have recovered 106% of the jobs lost to the pandemic. As Stephen Pelos, the central banker appointed by Mr. Harper, put it over the weekend, aren't we lucky that the policies worked well to prevent the second Great Depression, which is what economists worried about when we first encountered COVID? That's the reality, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the reality is the Minister of Finance was the first Canadian politician to ever be flagged for misleading Canadians online, Mr. Speaker. It is quite rich for that minister to suggest other people are misleading Canadians when she has been flagged just like Donald Trump was, Mr. Speaker. So it's almost the end of the year. It's almost the end of the year. I will give the minister the opportunity to apologize to Canadians for misleading them during the federal election. Yeah. Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, let me take this opportunity to allow the Leader of the Opposition to stop flip-flopping and to choose an economic lane, something his caucus might appreciate too. Today, the Conservatives are complaining about government spending. But on the campaign trail, they proposed a deficit of $168 billion for 21-22. In the fall economic update, we showed a deficit for that year of $144.5 billion, $23.5 billion lower than what the Conservatives proposed. So could the leader of flip-flops please let Canadians know what he really stands for? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, I would note Donald Trump doesn't apologize either. Oh! 